Hi there. Now here we've got a question based on finding the lower and upper quartiles from a stem leaf diagram. So if you'd like to have a go at this, need time to read it, then just give you a moment to pause the video and when you come back I'll take you slowly through the methods involved. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now we've got discrete data here in this stem and leaf diagram and in order to find out the lower quartile and upper quartile what I'm going to do is just take you through finding the position of where these values should be and the position of let's say the median which is Q2 the position of Q2 remember that when you have discrete data what you need to do is add up how many values you've got which in this case is 35 add 1 to that and then divide by 2 so we've got a total of 36 divided by 2 so the median would be in the 18th position it would be the 18th value okay we'll just put that in there and that median then if we step in say from the smallest value which is 27 here in the green slacks data 27 is your first value 28 second and so on third fourth fifth six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and eighteen and you can see we've got sixty four so you've got 17 values to the left of or below the median and you've got 17 values above and then you've got your one value here which gives us a total of 35 values. Now the point I want to make here is that when you have a list of data when you want to find the middle of a list of data all you need to do is add one on to your total number of discrete values and then divide by 2. So when it comes to finding the lower quartile and the upper quartile you've got a list of 17 values either side of the median. So in order to find out the position of the lower quartile and the upper quartile from the ends okay the lower end and the upper end let's just put it down here position of Q1 and in red I'll put and Q3 from the ends okay from the ends I've got 17 values either side of the median so in order to work out that position I've just got to do 17 values plus 1 divided by 2 and that gives us 18 divided by 2 so it's the ninth value in from the ends and so where do we find the ninth value in from this end the lower end well that's 27 then 28 so working in that order you've got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so you can see here that value the lower quartile will be 44 so we've got 44 here for A and then for B we'll do that in red we've just got to come in from the end nine values so this is 94 and then we've got 89 88 and 84 and so on so we've got to come in 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay that one there 76 so the value for B the upper quartile is 76 now okay I've taken quite a long while over showing you this but I felt that it was important to show you that remember when you've got a list of discrete values and you want to find the middle value you always just add one to the number of data values you've got and then divide by two to get the position. And if you're in doubt on any of this particular type of stuff do go out and check out my video tutorials on finding the median and quartiles of discrete data by this method. You'll find the tutorials on my website.